it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies here on YouTube and today I'll be showing you how to make this Kung Fu Panda phone case with polymer clay. Poe is ready for action and now he can go wherever you go to protect you. All the supplies and materials for this project will be in the description box down below so please check that out and let's get started. For this project you will need a plastic phone case and a parchment paper template of your phone case. With a rolling pin, yellow polymer clay, and two popsicle sticks, begin rolling the clay out into a flat sheet with one popsicle stick on each side to act as a guide. The clay should be the same thickness as the popsicle sticks when you're done. Next, use your template and a blade to cut out a cell phone shape, and don't forget to cut out any holes for the camera or speaker. Once that's done, you should have something that looks like this. After that, use a clean toothbrush to add some texture to the yellow polymer clay. This will make it easier to paint later on. When you're done, it'll look something like this. To make Poe the Panda, have a drawing or a printed image of Poe that can fit your phone case. Then roll out a piece of black polymer clay that is big enough for the image. Lay the template on top, and with the dotting tool, start at his neck and trace the outline of his body. After that's done, use an X-Acto knife to cut it out. Smooth the edges of the clay with your fingers to get rid of the hard edges. Next, take a ball of white clay and shape it into Poe's head. It should be rounded at the top with a slight point at the bottom for his chin. To attach the two pieces, flatten the top of Poe's body slightly and lay his head on top, like so. To make Poe's ears, take a tiny ball of black polymer clay and cut it in half for two equal pieces. Then roll the balls of clay on their sides so one side is pointed. Lightly flatten out the clay and you have two ears. Then, using your template as a guide, lay the ears behind Poe's head and press down firmly to make the polymer clay stick. Next, we're going to make Poe's white stomach. Take some white polymer clay and a rolling pin to roll out a very thin sheet of white polymer clay. Use your template and a dotting tool to trace the white part of Poe's stomach onto the clay. Then, cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Lay this piece of clay on top of Poe's body until you have something that looks like this. Next, we are going to cut out Poe's shorts and his sandals. Roll out a thin sheet of tan or ecru colored clay and lay the template on top. Like the other steps, trace the shapes of his shorts and sandals with a dotting tool. Cut these out with an X-Acto knife and you should have pieces that look like this when you're done. Then lay the tan pieces of clay on top of Poe's body like this. Pat the clay down with your fingers to make sure his shorts lay nicely under his stomach. If you have excess black clay peeking around the edges, feel free to trim the excess with an X-Acto knife and reshape Poe as needed. To make Poe's face, use a ball tool to indent where his eyes will be. Then take a small ball of black clay, flatten it out into an oval shape, and place it in the indent for Poe's black patches. Repeat this step twice. Next, take a smaller ball of white clay and place it on the black eye patches. For Poe's nose, take a small snake of black polymer clay and bend it slightly. Add this to the middle of his face. For Poe's mouth, cut a skinny snake of black polymer clay and place it under his nose. Then, make two small indents on his eyes with the ball tool and put tiny balls of black polymer clay in the indents for Poe's pupils. The last step for his face is to take one more skinny snake of black clay and place it on the top of his right eye to make it look like he's ready to fight. Finally, take a dotting tool and create some indents on Poe's arms and fingers to add dimension. 
Once you're done, you should look something like this. To make the rock at the bottom of the phone case, take some granite or gray colored polymer clay and roll it into a flat sheet. After that, cut it out using your template and attach it to the top of the yellow polymer clay. Flip the clay over and use an X-Acto knife to cut off any excess clay. Don't forget to cut out any speaker holes if you have one. After you're done, place the polymer clay into a bake safe dish and bake it in your oven according to the clay's package instructions. When your pieces have cooled off after baking, they'll look like this and it's time to paint. With some bright acrylic paint and a paintbrush, paint some curving stripes on the yellow polymer clay like so. Feel free to sketch these lines out with a pencil beforehand. Alternate the stripes with orange paint and the yellow clay to make a pattern. You may need to do two to three coats of paint to get a solid color. When you're done, it'll look like this. For Poe's belt, paint a line of yellow paint at the top of his shorts. Then, add some orange stripes to his belt with a small paintbrush. After that, paint some stitches onto his shorts like so with the orange paint. Finally, take some brown and dark brown paint and paint Poe's sandals like so. Once all the paint is dry, it's time to glue everything together. Apply a strong glue like E6000 onto the phone case and attach the polymer clay by pressing down firmly. After that, apply some glue to the back of Poe and attach him to the center of the phone case so that way he's standing on top of the rock. When everything is glued together, apply the glaze to the polymer clay to seal in the paint and make the phone case shiny. After the glaze is dried, you should have something that looks like this. case tutorial and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more of Poe, check out the new Kung Fu Panda 3 movie which will be out in theaters soon. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more awesome videos like this one. Bye! Hello Kitty has some indents in her bow so take a ball tool and put two indents on both sides. 